All right, developing right now, the former Macomb County Clerk Karen Spranger is facing a felony charge tonight, but it has nothing to do with her very rocky tenure in office. Jason Colthorpe is here now. Jason, the Macomb County prosecutor says Spranger stole money from an elderly woman in Warren. Yeah, uh, which police suspected a couple of months ago, but the prosecutor needed time to look at this case. He started with asking to see more of the bank records and any surveillance video. Well, he got some and it was illuminating. New pictures of the former Macomb County clerk Karen Spranger making ATM withdrawals from a Chase Bank. But one big problem, according to Warren Police and the Macomb County prosecutor, it's not her debit card. A lot of this has been frustrating for all of us because we've been trying to get in touch with Karen Spranger and, and Warren PD and Detective Nicholas have left no stone unturned in an attempt to talk to her. Of course, we'd like to get her side in all of this. In all, Prosecutor Eric Smith says Spranger made eight withdrawals, totaling $1,660 between January 1st and 8th of this year. Today, we charge Karen Spranger with larceny between $1,000 and $20,000, which is a five-year felony. The victim is a 78-year-old woman that Spranger was taking care of beginning last September. At some point, she noticed her debit card missing and told police she confronted Spranger about it, who pushed her down in a parking lot. Once police got involved, Spranger disappeared. A lot of this has been frustrating for all of us because we've been trying to get in touch with Karen Spranger and, and Warren PD and Detective Nicholas have left no stone unturned in an attempt to talk to her. Of course, we'd like to get her side in all of this. Yeah, that was accidentally redundant there. But what uh, police wanted to know, you to know is that she didn't have permission to use that debit card either. And each time she appeared at that ATM, the victim was also not in the car. Police and prosecutors are asking for Spranger to turn herself in for questioning and to face these charges, which as of right now do not include domestic violence, despite that being a consideration. Right, there. right. Yeah. So do they have a sense as to whether she's around yeah, here? Right. They think she is, actually, even though police suspect she might be homeless between homes. But... Of the tips, the sightings, they call it, they've gotten of her. They've all been local, and they're keeping an eye out. They're trying to find her. The story. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, Jason. Well, uh